and the Imo State government says the attack on the country home of uh, Governor Hopo Zadima at the early hours of today in Omuma community in Oru East local government area of the state is politically motivated. Plus TV Africa spoke to some residents in the area. The, th the truth of the matter is that people are scared, of people are, we are running away. Mm. So all of a sudden we saw so many people that they are, they are they were, they, they were vehicles and uh, tipa, mm. you know, so people are running away. So the next thing, they drove in in hopes and they use uh, the, those tipa to hit the gates and to come in there. So that is what really happened. They said people came to our governor's house to burn down this house. So I have to take cover. So, after every, on my way coming, coming back to my house, because I live, this is my house. So I was coming back and uh, I saw some gunmen. They surrounded me and with my brother and other people we are together and collect our phones and said they are coming back. I am appealing to the federal government to put more tight in security to make sure that all these hoodlums are tracked down. Because, you see, from Mubakwe to even the last governor, we don't see this type of a Meanwhile, the Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Declan Emelumba, while briefing newsmen, says the attack was successfully repelled by security operatives, even though one person was killed in the process. Even though the identities of the hoodlums has not been revealed, the state government is pointing accusing fingers at desperate politicians who had earlier promised to make the state ungovernable. Some uh, group of hoodlums attempted to uh, attack the residence, the uh, country home of uh, His Excellency Distinguished Senator Hopos Odema in Omuma. They attempted to attack it and probably with the aim of raising it down. But uh, fortunately, uh, very gallant uh, uh, security operatives attached to, to, to the governor's house were able to repel the, the attempt, and so they did not succeed. Uh, but in the process, you know, uh, gunfire ensued, and uh, at least the, the, the security operatives were able to reasonably control the damage they wanted to cause. So the most important thing is that it was a foiled attempt to attack the governor's house. If you go to Mumma now, you will see that the Governor's residence is standing firm and intact, you know, so the attempt was repelled by gallant security operatives. Yeah, there is, I think, one casualty, you know, the, uh, you know, naturally, when, when you repel an attack, you know, the, the, when there's an exchange of gunfire, anything can happen. That's the only way you can repel an attack. So I think there is one casualty or there about. The police said three. Well, I'm talking, I'm not talking for the police, I'm talking of the information I have, maybe one or two, I don't know, but I think that they, what I know is that there are a few casualties, you know. Yes. Preliminary uh, investigations point to the fact that the thing was politically sponsored, politically sponsored, so, but no conclusions yet. Uh, uh, His Excellency has already directed that uh, investigation on the matter should be expeditiously handled and that uh, both sponsors were, were applicable and uh, the agents uh, should be quickly apprehended and brought to justice. So that is where we are now, but uh, there are uh, some indications that it could have been uh, uh, politically sponsored. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.